everybody. This is Nathan and Danny. Yep, Strategy Wizard here. Yeah, and we're going to be reviewing uh, Jumping Jack, and it's published by Goliath, two to four players, and four, four, four. Ages four and up. Four, four and up, right. And two to four players, did you say that? Uh, two to four players, right. Yeah, the little kid's game. We've had it for a while, and we thought, you know what? We've played it plenty. It's time to go ahead and give a review and see what we think. Yeah, we even play it today. That's right. So, perfect time. That way we actually are very fresh up on what we, how we feel about it. Let's say this. To set up, you put all these carrots into these holes, mm -hmm. and after you put all the carrots in, then you put Jumping Jack inside of his little spot, and you have to push him down into this little spring. Then everyone gets a little uh, basket. There are two other baskets in case you have four up to four players. And you know what's cool? And you have a spinner. It's like it randomly... Picks also jumping, yeah. If, if Danny already mentioned that, jumping jack kind of goes up with the carrots, and it's like it randomly picks which carrot, yeah. That's so cool, yeah. One of these carrots is the trigger that's going to make jumping jack fly out of his rabbit hole, and it is random, you never can tell which one it's going to be. Yeah. And Nathan, let's go ahead and show them the spinner real quick, like so they can see what all is going to pop up on this. So the spinner has uh, it's hard to do this here, lose a turn, you can get one carrot, two carrots. And then you could lose a carrot altogether if you have one in your basket. So Nathan, let's go ahead and get started. You go ahead and spin, and we'll show them how it goes. Okay. So I got a one carrot. So, so you're gonna pull a carrot. Bam! Yeah. And oh. that's a perfect example of how this game works. It could happen on the very first pull, or it could happen later because you don't know which one it is. In this case, Nathan would win because I wasn't ready. You're supposed to grab Jack as soon as he pops out. Whoever grabs him wins. However, if nobody grabs him, like in this case, yeah. he fell he fell before anyone caught him. Right. Whoever and has the most carrots right. wins. Mm -hmm. So who won? I did. Congratulations. Okay. Now let's go ahead and do, do this again. We're gonna slide that puppy back in here. We're gonna push Jack down. Nathan, go ahead and start us off again. <laughs> lost a carrot, but you didn't have one. Yeah, and that just kind of made you lose your turn. Okay, I get two carrots. Now, here's the thing. If um, I'll, I'll pull the same one just to show that it isn't necessarily always the same one. So I'm going to pull this one, and it didn't mm -hmm. happen. So it's all it's random. We don't know which one it is, so I'm going to pull this one, and we're going to see what happens. Oh, still going. Mm -hmm. Okay, Nathan, it's your turn. Now, right now, I'm winning, but it won't matter because if Nathan... It doesn't ha necessarily matter anyway because if Nathan has fewer carrots, but he grabs Jack, he will still win. So let's see. So really, you almost just want to focus about catching Jack. Yeah, Jack is what you really want to be focused on. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, as everyone reaches to try to grab him, you could knock him all over the place and no one will catch him. So it's still important to try to get the most carrots if you can. Not that yeah. not that you can make yourself get more carrots, but still, you just got to do the best you can. Two. Okay, right now we're tied. I lose a carrot, so you take a carrot out, you just set it to the side, and it's out of the game. Yeah. Ooh, you lost a carrot. Mm -hmm. right, you're still tied. That's not good for you, it is. Okay, two carrots. Okay, still going. Two carrots. Oh gosh, only two carrots left. I lost a turn. Oh great. One carrot. <laughs> In this case, no one caught it because everyone got went crazy. And Nathan, how many carrots do you have? You have four? I have four. So really? So who wins? There you go. In this case, you just play again to see who wins. And the thing is, the game is so fast. I mean, I think I kind of have some rules for that. I mean, I think I think we, we should just call it a tie. Well, yeah, you can call it a tie, mm -hmm. or you can decide to make it the tiebreaker being the next game that you play if you're playing two players. But, yeah, we'll just call it a tie for now. Mm -hmm. But it's such a quick game that even though you might have a tie or you might, you know, have some whatever, it doesn't really matter because it's so fast. You just plug all the carrots back in real quick. Snap them all in. I will say you need to make sure that they all go in all the way. There's been a time or two where we thought we put all the carrots in all the way and we didn't, and Jack never popped even once we pulled all the carrots because one because the one of the carrots wasn't all the way pushed in. So that's important. Maybe not all uh, pushed in. I thought it was something different. But. Now that now now that we've done that, let's talk about what we think. So anyway, Nathan, so what do you think about this game? What do you think about the component quality? Mm -hmm. 
I think it's like a six out of ten. No, that's well, you don't. You don't have to rate the components. You don't have to rate them. Just, just. What do you think about the components? Do you like them? Not like them? I, don't, I like them okay. But not great. Not great. In my opinion, I really like the components because I think the carrots that they're nice and chunky, easy to grab, and functional. I like the way this looks. It just it's it's nice and it pops on the on the table. It looks nice. And the and Jack himself is actually really nice. So you kind of a squishy, almost a, really a toy you could play with if you wanted to. It's just a little goofy with this little hole right here. But it all works really well, and the spinner works pretty well, in my opinion, and it's, and it's nice and sturdy and thick. So I like the components. Nathan doesn't really care for them so much. Um, what do you think about the game itself? I mean, is it fun to play it over and over again? Is it a lot of replay value? A lot of replay value. Why do you think so? Because... It's, I just think it's really fun. I mean, whenever you have to grab it, it's like it's kind of good for your muscles too. I guess maybe it's good for your uh, reflexes when to be able to see and have that eye-hand coordination. And honestly, that's one of the cool things about it. It makes you focus and pay attention on other people's turns, which is a good thing. So before I ex say all that stuff, Nathan, what, what would you rate this game? I probably rate it the seven. No, maybe the seven. The Kind of, kind of 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? Yeah. So you think it's okay, but not great? Uh, oh, wait. Well, 7 out of 10 then. 7 out of 10. So you think it's pretty good? Yeah. Okay, I, I would also, as a kid's game, I would actually give this an 8 out of 10 because two things. One, it is helpful for eye-hand coordination, trying to be ready and focused all the time and try to grab. I think it's good for that. And it's Just, good for your brain, too. You need to be focused. Yeah, that though that kind of, um, I, hate to, I hesitate to say educational, but that... It's still helpful, and it's training in it for kids, which I think is nice. And because it's so quick, it's a game that you can play over and over and over again and just enjoy the excitement. And even for adults, it is exciting in the sense that, you know, it's a challenge to grab this guy because you don't know when he's going to pop. And whenever he does, everyone's reaching for him, and it creates an exciting time. So it's one of those games that I... It's not a, It's not one of those kids' games where I'm going, oh, no, Nathan wants to play that. It's a game where I'm like, oh, Nathan wants to play that? Cool, let's play it. Because I will enjoy that challenge of trying to <laughs> trying to grab Jack whenever he pops and wondering when is it going to happen. And it's precisely because, as you saw, it can happen on the very first pull or it can happen at the very end. You never know when it's going to happen, and that makes it very exciting. So there you go. So <laughs> that, that's our that's our review, Nathan. Did you have anything else that you wanted to add to it? Uh, Apart from the fact that you have this nice little hat. Yeah. Um. Not really. So so you just so so you just, in your opinion, are you glad that we have it? You're glad. We I have am it? glad that we have it, but I'm surprised you wear it more than me. Well, yeah. I just I think this is a really nice kids game, especially considering that it's for ages four and up. It's a game that even little bitty kids can play. That's cool. Yeah. So that being said, that's our review. We really enjoyed uh, having y'all watch with us and. Watch with us. Watch us play through and review this game, and we look forward to seeing you on the, on the next one. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.